everyone and welcome to another video my name is aria and today i will be unboxing the daughter of smoke and bone illumicrate collector's edition box thingy and i am so excited for this box you have no idea I've been waiting for this for quite a while and it is finally here and I can finally unbox this. I think we're all gonna have a great time. I have the box here. If you haven't heard, Illumicrate has gone absolutely crazy with this box and their usual collector's edition boxes were not big enough for this and they had to resort to a bigger box which means there are a lot of goodies inside and I'm very excited. So let's begin. So the first thing in the box is obviously the spoiler card. Here it is. And this is the back where you can see the photo challenge and you can also see the glare from my lamp and that's okay. And inside there are all the spoilers that I'm not gonna look at just yet. So I'm gonna put that aside and keep going. The next thing I see in here is, uh, what do you call it? A book sleeve. Why did I forget that for a second? A book sleeve. So it, it looks absolutely amazing. The artwork, yes. Here it is. Do you see this? Oh my God. This looks absolutely stunning. And on the back there is a quote, hoping you can read that just fine. If you need, you can pause the video because I'm not great at reading quotes, people. I just, I don't know, I get brain farts or something. But yeah, here it is. I absolutely love the art. I have not read the books, but I'm very excited to read them. And that's why I got this box in the first place because I like the new reprints and this is just an excuse to read the books and the series because I've read Lainey Taylor's other series, Strange the Dreamer, and it's one of my absolute favorite fantasy series ever. So I definitely want to read everything else by her and this is just an opportunity and inside the sleeve there's the book so i'm just gonna take this out now because if i leave it for later i will forget about it trust me i will forget about it so they've already shown us what the cover will look like so that's no surprise and here it is it is absolutely beautiful you can see it's shiny and this is the spine and on the back, there's also another quote and it says Illumicrate exclusive and it has blue sprayed edges. And of course it's signed and it doesn't have exclusive end papers, but I think it has art on the dust jacket. So let's see. Okay, the art under the dust jacket is, I have no words. I do not have the words. But before I get to that, I want to show you the naked book. So here it is. There is a quote on it and a feather and then the spine and the back is just plain. And the quote says, she had been innocent once, a little girl playing with feathers on the floor of a devil's lair. She wasn't innocent now. So that sounds interesting. And now for the actual artwork under the dust jacket. Like look at this do you see this this looks stunning absolutely stunning this is one of my favorite art under a dust jacket that i've ever seen before honestly that's not even an exaggeration. The illustration on the cover of the book is done by Peter Strain and the art under the dust jacket is by Jim D. Bartolo. So I'm gonna try and link every artist down below in the subscription box so you can go and check them out. And also the artist for the book sleeve is Monoline for this bit and Chatty Nora for the quote bit. So there are two artists involved 
in the book sleeve. Next up, there is an enamel pin. So here it is. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic so you can see a little bit better. So here it is, it's like two separate pieces and there's a bit of a chain in between them. It looks very cool and it has a quote on it. It says, it snapped, split the world in two. So I'm guessing that has something to do with the story. And this is supposed to be a wishbone. You can kind of tell that they're bones, but I couldn't tell that it was a wishbone. I'm not sure what a wishbone actually looks like. But anyhow. And the this one is designed by Stacy McAvoy Kant. I don't know how to you can you can see the artist right here. I don't know how to say the name. I'm very sorry. On to the next item. Next up, I see a box. I wonder what's in here. So let's open it. Okay, so this is what was in the box. You can kind of see, hopefully. And it has a dangling thingy and it says Karu. You can hopefully see that. And I don't know what this is, but this reminds me of those things where you put the smelling thingy in Orthodox churches. If anyone's been at an Orthodox mass thingy, you know what I'm talking about. This looks exactly like those things. I don't know what you call them. It, it looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So maybe this is like a replica of something from the book. So let's see. So this is supposed to be a soul thorable. It says, our replica Thorable is great for keeping souls safe until they can be resurrected. So I'm guessing this is something to do with the book. This is something from the book. So honestly, every item in this box so far just makes me want to read the book even more. This has never happened to me before. I mean, I've unboxed a lot of things, but this, this, is... I don't have words. I don't have the words. Next up, there's an art print and oh my god does this look absolutely stunning oh my you you have to see this do you see that gold foiling oh my goodness gracious this this is art i mean i know this is actually art but this is just mm, yes so here you can hopefully see it up close I'm guessing these are all characters from the book and I'm very excited to get to know all of them because they all look beautiful as heck. And this print was done by Merrywild. Like the way they draw characters is just so good. I don't know, but their art style is mwah. Next up is this ginormous tin. Like, what? I mean, I've seen tins being included in boxes before but this thing this thing is something else and look how big this is this is bigger than my head do you see this oh my god here you can kind of see the artwork hopefully a bit better it looks absolutely amazing and here is the spine and there's like some shadowy things they look like creatures with wings. I don't know if you can tell. And on the back, there's different art. Okay, so I'm gonna show that. Okay, so that's interesting. I didn't expect it to have different artwork on the sides. This looks so good. And then here's like the pages supposedly and it kind of looks like vines this is so cool like this thing is ginormous and of course it opens does it open yes it does open i just struggled there for a little bit because i am a weak person but on the inside there's more art like i don't know if i can show that quite well but this looks so cool and like there's so much space on the inside and honestly 10 out of 10 for this item. I don't even know what I'm gonna store in here, but this looks so good. I just love to like just display it somewhere if I had the space, which I don't, and that is tragic, but this, yes, like each item just gets better and better for me. Like, I don't know about you, but it just gets 
better and better for me so that gorgeousness was designed by rosy thorns and it says hide all the teeth you have collected for brimstone in the stunning book tin this is so cool so i'm guessing this is also like kind of to do with the story i like how each item has something to do with the inside of the book like the contents which is really really cool it's not only aesthetically pleasing but they're like there's context behind them which i really love even though i don't know what the context is i'm hoping to find that out and now we are down to the last two items oh my god i'm so excited okay they really they really went big with this box because the next item is another absolutely stunning thing and that is bookends i've never gotten bookends in a book box before and i've really wanted some for a while and i'm so happy to have these and i'm gonna show them to you in one second here they are i don't know if you can i'm gonna try and show them one by one so this is one of them and it has like a demon wing and there's a quote that says no other side the quote says once upon a time an angel and a devil fell in love and then the other one has like an angel wing and there's like a sword and something and the quote continues and it says it did not end well so this seems to be a very featured quote from the book and this is the the bookends they look so cool i'm so excited to use these oh my god so these were designed by Noveron Tail, and apparently that quote is the opening line from the series, which I did not know about, but that is a pretty iconic opening line, to be honest, not gonna lie. I will remember that for sure. And the last item is this box, and I think I know what it is. They did say they're going to have a Strange the Dreamer item, and since this is the last item, I'm guessing this is it. <sighs> oh my god, I love Strange the Dreamer so much. Like, I cannot convey into words how much I love that series. And I'm very excited to have this in my arms, so let's open this. It's a it's a mug! Oh my god, a Strange the Dreamer mug. <sighs> this thing is so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, breathe, breathe. Calm yourself. Okay, so here is the mug. You can hopefully see. And here is Sarai and the last little cutie patooties. Oh my god, and then the moths. Ah, oh, it looks so good. I will treasure this forever. I have died and gone to heaven because my life is now complete. So the mug was also designed by Rosie Thorns and I think that is it for the entire box. This box was stunning, absolutely stunning. Honestly, this has to be like the best box I've ever gotten. I'd say so, yet honestly, yeah, the best box I've ever gotten. Like every single item is simply amazing. There's nothing in this box that I don't love, genuinely. I mean, obviously my favorite item is, <laughs> yes, the mug, because my beautiful babies. <laughs> but i'm essentially blown away this amazing box honestly no regrets so yeah i guess this is the end of the video thank you very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this unboxing i certainly enjoyed unboxing this this was <laughs> this was just so good oh my god so good I, honestly illumicrate so good. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with another video. And now I'll just go die from happiness because this was the best box ever. Mm -hmm.